Hello guys! Today I wanted to introduce you to my cockatiel Mango. He's kind of a sassy boy, so if he tries to bite me in this video, that's why. <laughs> uh, we don't actually have it. Yeah, see? <laughs> he doesn't like to be taken off my shoulder, but then, see, he just, he does it, but he's just sassy. Wants to do only things that he wants. Um, he's a very sweet boy though when he wants to be. So I've had Mango for many years now, like five or six. We don't know for sure that he's a boy because we haven't gotten it DNA tested and it's kind of hard to tell with cockatiels. But we are pretty sure he is a boy because he has a bright yellow face and he's very talkative. <laughs> um, he doesn't have the stripes on his tail feathers um, that a lot of females have. So I don't feel like we need to get him DNA tested. We're pretty sure because he acts like a male bird. He can talk a little bit, but cockatiel talking doesn't exactly sound like other parrot talking or human talking. Uh, it's kind of like... <laughs> he... Ah, he pooped on me. <laughs> Be right back. Oh my god. Be right back. That was a really wet one. See? Bird owners are pretty used to getting pooped on by their birds, and I am. That was a really wet one. Didn't see that coming. Oh my gosh, Mango, get out of the camera. Come on. Come on. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's Mango. His, what I was talking about, his talking. He can say, hello, Mango. I think that he can say pretty bird, but he's pretty hard to understand. He can whistle like swit swoo. I can't whistle, or else I would demonstrate how he does things. See how sassy. Um, but I've had him for a really long time, and he's always been this sassy, even when I'm like holding him all the time. He can get very cuddly, but he'll he's kind of like a cat, where if you pet it for a while and you like pet it in the wrong way, it'll just attack you. He does that. <laughs> like he really loves getting his head scratched but like certain things if i come at his face a certain way yeah see he gets pretty nippy but i've gotten pretty used to knowing how to not get bitten and even when he does like like what he did earlier it doesn't actually hurt like biting he's kind of just saying no but he needs to be okay with me moving him on like both of my arms and things like that. That wasn't a bite, he was just using his beak as a hand. I've had lots of birds in my, it like throughout my life. Uh, I've had a cockatoo, I've had parakeets, um, I've had two cockatiels, one of them flew away. <laughs> this is the second. Uh, parakeets are definitely a better beginner bird than cockatiels and cockatoos, well, I have a whole story about that. Um, so I had one named Teddy Bear, and he was the sweetest thing. Oh my gosh, he was awesome. But the problem is, when I went to school, he would screech the whole time, and I wasn't educated enough to know that that would happen. Stop yelling, I'm making a video! I was uneducated about cockatoos, and I did not understand, I didn't know that he would be screeching at the top of his lungs, and have it heard throughout the entire neighborhood while I was at school all day. So that just didn't work out and we had to rehome him. Cockatoos and birds in general are definitely a big thing to take on. Um, cockatiels, they require less attention than cockatoos, but they really need attention to be happy and have a happy life. Uh, parakeets, if they have a friend, they do not need as much attention as cockatiels and cockatoos but it's always good to have a bond with your bird. If you want to get a bird just to like look at, you know, and have it hang out in its cage and not really hold it, definitely do not get a parrot. I would suggest finches or a canary. Just make sure they have friends. Um, by no means am I a bird expert. No means, I, I just have some bird experience. If you do want to have a bird that you don't have to spend many hours um, spending time with and socializing, then I would recommend uh, canaries or finches. They're boring to me because I really like interacting with my pets. Um, and if you are willing to devote like 
an hour or more out of your day to spend time with your bird every single day, then I would definitely re recommend getting a cockatiel or parakeets. Parakeets are not very loud, but they they definitely, they're chirpy. They'll like talk to each other and they will chirp a lot when they want attention. Um, cockatiels, Mango's definitely more quiet. He's more just talkative, like he'll chirp and he'll say some of his words and things like that. But he definitely, cockatiels can be loud and annoying if they want attention. So you have to make sure you give them en enough attention but cockatoos are very loud and so are macaws. So not good if you have an apartment or if you are away all day at work. If you work from home, then those birds can be great, but I go to school. And <laughs> if you're wondering why I only have one earring in, it's cause he likes to nibble on them when he's sitting on me and I just don't want him to break them cause I really like these ones. I just took it out while he was sitting on my shoulder. <laughs> need some cuddle time. Mango really likes kisses um, and he loves head scratches. He does not like being pet much otherwise. But he does really like kisses. Even when pet stores say that birds are beginner's pets, like cockatiels and parakeets, they are definitely not. But I wanted to introduce Mango to my channel. And if you have any questions or want to see any more of Mango, then let me know. Um, I really enjoy playing with him and making videos with him because he is definitely a fun part of my life. And he makes it, he enriches my life. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that you got to meet Mango. If you have any questions about cockatiels, uh, comment them down below and I'll answer them. Uh... But remember, I'm not a bird expert. I have experience with a lot of different birds. So, yeah. Mango says goodbye. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's goodbye. Goodbye. Yep. <laughs> See you next time.